Okay, so once again, we need to calibrate our images or calibrate the flat frames. Now, in this set, obviously I'm using a CCD, so I have flats for every channel. Uh, if you just have a one-shot color camera or your DSLR and you use flats, obviously you'd only have just the one set. So select them all, open it up. Actually, quickly, what I'm going to do, just so <laughs> flats, zoom, cow. I see I've already done this, so I'm just going to delete those so we don't have to worry about that again. Okay, that's fine. And cancel. Right, so just make sure the output directory is good. So flats, luminance, calibrated. Yes. Master bias, we have. Now we also have our master dark. Master dark. Exactly the same settings as before. And we run. So now we're subtracting the bias and the dark from the flat frame. So we just let this run. You can see that sort of pinky purpley text keeps coming up. It says uh, warning, no correlation between the master dark and the flat calibration or something along those lines is because they actually contain very little dark anyway some of them do some of them don't it's very don't know why so okay so now we've got those we can now integrate those to create our master flat so back to our flat frame back to our calibrate folder select them all we're opening it up now for this one um, we do the integration slightly differently um, we change some settings here so we still use an average but we want to go multiplicative. We still don't care about the weights. We still want to evaluate the noise. We're going to use percentile clipping and also change this to um, equalize fluxes. That's the only changes we're gonna make. And we're gonna run it again. So we're gonna reapply. And this is the stack. Uh, that's 25 frames so again i think i'll probably just pause and or fast forward this bit of the video and then we'll be back okay rejection high rejection low and our master luminance flat or well, this would be your master flat if you're using the one shot so we can minimize integration let's just take a look at it and there we have it a nice free free from bias free from dark flat frame with the vignetting and the lovely dust one day i may get around to cleaning it but thanks to flat frames i don't really need to <laughs> so we're going to change that identifier master Ooh. so we'll just call this m loom flat and then file will save M loom flat. Okay. So that's now saved and done. So now we have our three calibration master frames, our flats, our master dark and our super bias. Now the next step is to calibrate our light frames. So we're going to remove the bias, remove the dark, remove the flat from the light frame. Okay.